Hello, Frank Rocchio. How are you doing today? Good morning, Amanda. I'm doing well. It's Friday and I'm excited. Right. How are you doing? Fantastic, especially because we're going to talk about story brand story and brand. strategery, which is like one of my favorite things. Strategery, stratagems. I think I made up a word. I don't think you did, but I did. Um, <laughs> anyway, so story brand is something that we obviously use a lot internally with our clients. It's can be it usually is very foundational to everything that we do with our clients um, just because it, it helps clarify so many things and just a really good like tool, tool in our belts to help move the needle and, and obviously make, make decisions. Yeah. Um, so even before we dive into this, like let's take a step back. If somebody isn't familiar with story brands, how would you briefly describe it? Yeah. Um... So yeah, story brand in like the biggest nutshell, uh, I'll refer to the biggest resource probably of them is like the book Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. It's kind of the, the core of that uh, concept, but long story short, it's created by Donald Miller, the, uh, the author of that. And um, generally it was to solve the problem of marketing not working because it wasn't clear. That's how they communicated it. At least that's how I'm summarizing it, you know? Um, and so what they did was create this really simple, easy framework to help people and businesses create messaging that is customer centric, customer focused, and, and they refer to it as the character. So their idea is like stories resonate, narrative, narratives resonate, and they all, they have these seven elements um, as part of that story that will communicate really clearly and develop a story that you can bring that character into. They're the main part of the story, not you. And then it focuses on how you help them or the problem you solve for them, not focusing the attention on yourself or what you do best. In order to do that, you have this framework that helps you do it. So that's kind of the summary of what story brand is for anyone who hasn't heard of it. That's in marketing, branding, business, pastoral work. Anytime you have to communicate anything, I would suggest looking into it. But that's a little bit of a summary. So absolutely. And I I was on a call the other day explaining story brand. I always like to use the example of Star Wars and Luke Skywalker mm -hmm. and Yoda. Um, that brand should be Yoda and their client should be the heroes that like Luke Skywalker was. Um, and the the gentleman I was explaining to was like, oh, well, that's, that's a hero arch, that's a movie arch. And absolutely, so those of you who might be familiar with that, um, just that story of kind of the unsure hero in the beginning meets a guide that helps them become capable and confident and ready to take on the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so when it comes to like making strategic decisions using story brand, like how did that idea even come up into your head? What got you kind of going down that road? Well, I think story brand, I mean, like you said, we've used story brand uh, for a very long time. Um, we have run well over a hundred workshops, clients and things like that. And it's a brilliant framework. Um, how we've used story brand, or at least how I do is that just like a lot of other frameworks that came before and came after it, that the methodology that Donald Miller came up with is a philosophy and um, the brand script, or, you know, if you're familiar with it, is it just a delivery tool for that philosophy. And so um, through doing a lot of that, we've learned that yes, it can de deliver like the best copy that you've seen. It's really simple. It's kind of the fill in the blank mentality, right? I, I still use it daily. I used it yesterday, probably use it for the next 10 years of my life. Um, but what we noticed was in order to develop that message, there's questions that need to be asked. Um, and you need to know what you're actually wanting to say or how you answer those questions at a business or brand level. And I think what was happening was we would ask the questions about, you know, who is your customer? What does your customer want from you? What do they expect? Um, some things that are fairly qualitative or subjective and people didn't know the answer. They didn't know like, you know, what they did. Um, they didn't know what they wanted to say. They didn't know, you know, who even their customer was mm -hmm. on, on a qualitative level. They don't know what problem mm -hmm. they solved for. And so it, it started getting interesting to me. Well, this is not just a solution for messaging. It, it actually goes further than that. It's, it's, it can be a tool to push you to think and design your brand in a way that has more traction in a way that's building it around your customer answering things you may not know about your company. And so this is referred to in a lot of different ways, you know, framing, marketing, positioning, whatever it is, but ultimately it can help you make strategic decisions about what audience you're going after, where you should run ads, um, what the creative should be in that ad. It's a really good framework to make those decisions. So that's kind of how it came to be. And I would say that at least 30, 40% of the time when we do that, it turns into a strategic conversation before it mm -hmm. ever translates into copy. Yeah. I think that's super interesting. And 
there's a lot of ways to apply a framework like StoryBrand, and it's important to to look at how it you know impacts things overall. Um, and you know, I guess we'll talk a little bit more about that. Like, how can StoryBrand help us in those overall pieces? So the StoryBrand framework, like we said, has has like seven elements to it, right? It has your your customer who's true in the story run framework is called your character you have the problem that they have um you have the guide which is you as the brand all these all these elements to it and so how you find those out it comes with questions um could be a single question could be a variety of question but first one for your characters what does your character want right i i usually extend that for our clients what does your character want as it relates to your offer and so it's more so just instead of using those questions to move directly into copy, which a lot of people want to do is like, okay, we'll just fill in the blank. We'll get some words on the page and then we'll use it. Instead, using those same elements because they're core to what a brand is and what a business does um, is, well, how should we define our customer? Maybe we're not focused on the customer that is actually most uh, close to what we can offer them. Um, maybe you start defining the common traits of other people that you're, you're, you might even be a better fit for, or at least looking at not necessarily, you know, personas or anything like that, but like who, who is best fit for your, your business and vice versa. Likewise, when figuring out the problem, right? If you don't know the problem that you solve for, there can be a variety of problems that you solve for. Um, and I think strategically making the decision of which one are we going to solve for? If you're going to market with a, with a new product, or even if you're just a new company, it's like, how do we, how do we position ourselves or frame the problem that we solve in a way that maybe no one else has yet? And that's, that's strategic. When you start doing that, yeah. um, you start getting into this category of like, wait, they're totally different, but they're doing similar things, but they come off totally different. And that's where those strategic decisions can really guide a lot of high impact, um, high impact brand decisions that are, of course, then translated into copy or translated into wording. But I think first pushing yourself to, to think through those same questions and those same categories in a way that um, that can frame your solution or frame your story in a way that no one else has has done similarly up to that point. Is that hope, hopefully that's clear? I don't know if uh, no, I, I, think, that. I think it 100 percent is because like you think about things like I was just doing some research on the brands, hymns and hers. Um, mm. They have the exact same product, but their audience is different and their motivations are different. And so really understanding, you know, what your core audience wants and what they need, you might have the same product, but it is applied different ways to a different audience because they have different motivations or problems. Like we've, we, you know, a story brand, they have a, they have a different problem, but the a product might be the same solution, but it's important to really identify and, and pick out that core audience. So mm -hmm. think, I guess thinking about that a little bit more, like when you really identify that core audience and you speak to them the way they need to be, you know, talked to, um, what does that accomplish? Yeah. Yeah, it can be. A, I mean, that's the interesting thing, too. You know, when you go through that that uh, framework, it can just be a reflection of what you're already doing. But more so, it can influence if you make those those decisions rightly, it can influence key elements of your brand and business to create a nearly foolproof place in the market. Right. Like that's what good strategy does. And then mm -hmm. it gets reflected through your messaging. Messaging is really just a a casing on what you do. And it's really like just that. showing, you know, it's a way to, it's a way to communicate who you are and what you do. Whereas if you do approach the story brand framework, both on that level and even more so on a core strategic level, you can make decisions that will um, more influence that casing in a way that people may, may need more or may resonate better, or um, you'll be able to guide decisions about the products you even make, the line extensions you create, um, mm -hmm you know, all that type of stuff. So you'll be, you'll really be able to stand out a lot more. Uh, messaging will then become a lot easier because you'll be like, oh, this is the specific problem that mm -hmm. we solve. Here's how we do it differently, yeah. all those types of things. And it'll just be clear about what you do and attract the right type of leads. Specificity is key there. Um, so I think, yeah, thinking about it on both levels can be highly effective. Awesome. This is a super thought provoking chat, which I love on Friday mornings. Oh yeah. Get your day off to a good start. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, cool. well, thank you for the opportunity. This Thanks, is really Frank. Fun to talk about this stuff. Absolutely. We'll talk to you next week. All right. Bye. Bye.